Well, it's um, really beginning to cool off, and this will probably be one of the last mornings we're able to eat outside. But even in the in this cool air, it's still inviting to be outside to eat breakfast. <laughs> Each shot is sort of a, a decision on color that I prefer and like to surround myself by. This is basically just a selection of these things. I haven't really thought through what a sequence of shots does. Um, I know what each shot does, and even then I'm kind of like limited, but I could probably think about it a little bit and come up with an answer, and sometimes I understand what a sequence of shots does. Like, like in this shot, I say, okay, what's most important, and decide this is what's most important for the viewer based on what I determine is most important not necessarily what he does uh, but that's my best correlation so the next shot would be this because I'm attracted to both the flower and the leaves to do that it would go like this of course is a function of focus. So we come out here every morning and we make a video which tends to be how I do things making a 10 minute film every day for whatever site I'm on and you know I particularly like this arrangement and then I decide of course that on balance this is a significant area and of that this is on balance, um, the weightier area. Now, if I was to make a choice here, it would be something like that, which could even be emphasized more and say this. Of course, I could get off my fat tukas or bottom and walk over there and get more involved. But that quite isn't <laughs> my ability yet. Oh, I see. Carolyn left the light on. And I think a lot of shots determine, like, you know, you're close up with something. And I need a break, so you, you go to an airy shot. And you can emphasize it more or as much as you want. Even shutting the camera off. It's a determining factor on one relief from visuality 
with the intensity of visuality. So I think you're trying to determine what makes each shot stronger by showing a sequence of shots. Uh, an investigation leads to um, a more intense understanding of what it is you're looking at and learning. And I think it is sometimes necessary to do a step-by-step -step investigation. I mean, you look at something and you determine, okay, what's interesting in there and I think the selection is is pretty limitless but you you kind of do determine uh, for yourself at that moment about where or what is the area of interest the area of interest here is, is not three but two areas is the wilting, uh, what I'm calling lilacs, I have no idea what they really are. But really what's of greater interest is, is the flower here, which is still to be opened. And this shot is a duality. Two views of the same sh flower in one shot. This for me is this stem and then the shape some of the leaves take. Why are they tilting down? It could be the rain, I suppose. The rain. So don't you hear the poor dog? Oh, I didn't know that. For the rescue. The poor poochin. Of course, movement, since this is a moving image, supposedly, even though I'm basically a landscape photographer, um, does get noticed when things are moving. I must say, I do like the profusion of yellow in these maple trees, which we're going to have to replant before it gets cold out back, so I better order a, a soil sifter and get to work. Color plays a predominant role, too. You just wonder, you know, why, why humans respond to color, or I do. I always like to think it's because my great-grandfather owned a paint company. <laughs> Trees and flowers. I wonder if sequence goes for the digital world. I mean, a, a digital image is uh, is a quantized image. So we come out here every morning and make a video and talk to the world and feel like we've done our work for the day. This is, um, it forces you to, to um, be involved in, in looking and uh, which is, <clears throat> you know, the more you do it, the better you get. Um, you have to warm up to it. You don't know what you're doing and then suddenly it's sort of an auto response and then you can think about what the auto response is. Or why, basically why are you selecting what you are choosing to actually photograph. In this case it's basically the forms that the folds of the umbrella take that make me want to remember <laughs> the beehiving I will hopefully be doing later. Or something organic. Organic. <laughs> or organic.
Well, at least Gannick. My backyard, my sky. My word, well, my speech. Cryptic. 